The goal of WeAdapt is to provide users with relevant and accessible information, to facilitate the sharing of content related to adaptation, and to draw together practitioners, researchers, and policymakers in a collaborative online adaptation community. You will find case studies, tools, guidance, and a wide range of people and organisations working on different aspects of adaptation. This video gives a brief overview of some of the main features of WeAdapt. For more details on specific issues, such as how to create content, for example, please see the videos which can be found under the Tutorials tab. If you're not logged into the site, this is what you will see as the main page. It highlights the latest activity, for example, latest organisations to join, latest knowledge base articles or placemarks which have been added, or the latest initiatives. Clearly, there's an incentive to keep creating content in order to gain visibility on the site. The top bar is visible from wherever you are on the site and provides a quick way of accessing information. We'll be using it to explore the different elements of WeAdapt. Once you have registered, when you log in, you will be taken to your home page. This page can be accessed from anywhere on the site by clicking on the home icon. Your home page collects together content you might be interested in, based on interests in your personal profile, for example, articles or placemarks. It also collects together a list of users who work in similar areas to you, or who are interested in similar things. This makes it easier to connect to other users. Content in WeAdapt is now organised around a series of initiatives, which acts as hubs for people working on different topics. In order to create content, you must be a member of one of these initiatives. This is further explained in other tutorial videos. A good example of an initiative is a community-based adaptation one led by IIED. In this initiative, we can see participating organisations, a description of the initiative along with related content, for example these articles here, as well as a list of members of this initiative. Clicking on a member takes you to their profile page. This allows you to see their interests, gives some contact details, and shows you the content that they've been involved in creating on the site. Returning to the initiatives list, it's worth noting the Using Climate Information initiative. This provides a direct link to the Climate Information Portal at the University of Cape Town, allowing you to explore current and projected climate for locations around the world, with guidance on what this means for adaptation. Knowledge base articles vary from case studies to descriptions of useful tools and methods to practical adaptation options, for example, sand dams. Articles are associated with initiatives. Clicking on the Adaptation Decision Making Initiative, for example, gives a list of articles associated with it. For example, this one on adaptation decision methods, providing different methods which can be used to support adaptation. Clicking on the Adaptation Layer tab takes you directly to it. This lets you search for case studies and organisations around the world. For example, I'm interested in case studies in Zambia, so I search for it, I'm provided with some results, and if I click on these, I can see the location of the case study, a brief description of it, contact details, as well as where I can go for more information. The People and Organisations tabs are fairly straightforward. These simply provide lists of users and organisations. A better way of finding people working on similar things is through your homepage or through the initiatives. Subjects are based on tags associated with different articles and content and are more specific than initiatives. So, for example, I can look at the different content related to adaptive capacity. Finally, remember that the search function is a good way of looking for information. I'd recommend that after registering you start by having a look at the initiatives and hopefully you'll find new methods, useful case studies and interesting people to work with.